earth are you doing? I'm just doing a few warm-up exercises. I thought I'd go for a short training walk. But we're not far off dinner. I'm going to have to watch what I eat from now on, love. Are you sure about this walk? It's a hell of a distance. I'll build up to it slowly. But does it have to be such a distance? I feel like the old John Harrison again. I need this walk. I've even done my own sponsorship for them. Mm, might be better if we get it typed up. Oh, it'll do. Ah, evening, Max. Hello. I wonder if you'd care to sponsor me on my Cross England walk. Cross England? Bit of a challenge. Well, that's the general idea. Money goes to Brookside Comprehensive. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. A couple of lads from the round table did that. Had a whale of a time. Oh, yeah? I, I got these, look. Oh. Steady, got me. Yeah, I was reading the blurb on them last night, actually. And in fact, they're manufactured on much the same principle as a sock, which encases the foot as well as supporting it, you know. But the really fascinating thing is that they're built up in layers. An important one being Gore-Tex, which gives the boot its waterproofing. Ah, uh, Maxie! Now, have a word a minute, mate. Hey, look, I've got them. Look nice with a tutu. I was yeah. just telling Max about them, actually. They're very comfortable, but uh, I need to break them in, you know. Yeah, very nice. So, uh, any news, then? News? Well, you know, I thought you might have had a way with your boss, you know. Got something sorted out. Probably rent strike. I haven't been in the office most of the day, and Jeff has had a very important meeting. Oh, has he? But it might be worthwhile just mentioning to Jeffrey that I'm getting a petition up going around the local area. What's all this about? Well, Jimmy Cork will squat the legal, isn't he? Max's firm's in charge. Oh, that's handy. You'd sign a petition, wouldn't you, John? There's no need for a petition. Hey, look, if I get the community behind me, then it'll give me more strength in my argument to your boss, won't it? I'm in a bit of a difficult position. Only following your advice, mate. Remember, take action against the estate agents. Is there nothing you can do off the record? Such as? Have a word with Jimmy Corkin. No, that would be a bit risky. Why? You could almost act as an official of this Fletcher mob. We are not a mob, thank you very much. All right, all right, Maxie, you know what I mean. You could go in there and give Cork a bit of a dressing down. Might be worth a shot. Mind you, uh, I suppose I could always take your advice and go in and see your boss myself, like. All right, all right, look, I'll go and see him a little later on. Great. Can't wait to see Cork Hill's face. Now, about this sponsor. Um, would you like a drink, Margaret? No, thanks. You know, if you don't wake Thomas up, he won't sleep tonight. Why? Well, he won't be tired. He never normally has a sleep at this time. But he is asleep. No, but what I mean is he never usually sleeps at this time. He was feeling tired. Well, that's because you had him running about in the garden like a madman. Hello. Oh, hello, Max. Uh, would you like a drink? Oh, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Hello, Margaret. Uh, excuse me. Things have been a bit strained. Um, excuse me? Uh, the atmosphere. Has it been good between you and Margaret? Oh, it's OK. Um, have you had a good day? Oh, well, everything was going marvellously till that bloody clampy collared me. Listen, uh, do me a favour. If he does call round tonight, tell him I'm not in, all right? Bye. Thanks very much. Bye. Ciao, love. Is that all, love? Yes, thanks. Ciao. Oh, um, apparently you're uh, selling up and moving off. And where do you hear that from? You're not getting off, are you, Tell. People down here put two and two together and come up with five. Oh, sorry. Jimmy just got the idea you were selling up. Well, I don't know where he got that from, but I'm not saying nothing to anyone down here because they can't keep that out. Just interested in where you're up to, that's all. Most of the time, there. The rest of the time, me neck. <laughs> he's a funny lad, that, isn't he? Maybe want to keep himself to himself. Well, Jimmy reckons he's going anyway. Apparently, he's trying to kick Mick Johnson and his brother out the pizza parlour. Go on. Selling up. Lock, stock and barrel. Well, what's Mick going to do? I don't know. I can't keep up with things around here, me. Oh, Jimmy can. He's got his nose in everywhere. Evening, all. Evening, Constable. Very good. <laughs> You're looking very bright. You want to promise or something? Fun. 
taking a notice. He's just being crude again. So, what can we do you for? Fisherman's friends. And who's going to sponsor me for my across England hike? <laughs> Liverpool to Hull. That's the one. 140 miles across the A-roads. Hey, that's very good for a man of your age. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, 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 don't be upsetting him. He's just about to spend a fortune on a packet of sweets. And you're just as bad. <laughs> I'll sponsor you. Oh, good lad. Go on. I'll give you a couple of bob as well. Oh, more than merrier. Hey, uh, um, can I have a quick word for Derek, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, put me down for a five, eh? Oh, thanks very much. Hey, there was a film on the telly about a man who walked across England, wasn't there? Yeah, John and I were talking mm. about that. The fella died, though, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Everything got a bit heated, did it? You could say that. Max was shouting, Patricia was getting angry at him, and all the time that Anna was playing stupid games with Thomas in the garden. <sighs> so what's the outcome? I've been sacked. I didn't expect that. Yeah, well, you might know who instigated it. Patricia was sticking up for me, but I think Max would have had me out on the street there and then. I don't think it would go this far. Hi, hey, hey. When did you two get back? Uh, yesterday. Look well. Been anywhere nice? Uh, by the man. Never been there. How's Leo and Gemma? Oh, they're great. They're over at the Antilles, you know. Start the new school in a couple of weeks. New uniform, more expense. <laughs> I hear you might be moving out to Pizza Place. Ah, uh, news travels fast, eh? Uh, it's a small town, kid. <laughs> Anyways, nothing definite yet, so you never know. Anyway, see you later, eh? Ta -da. See you then. I don't know how you can be so cheerful, you know. I wish we'd never come home. But you know we had to. Back to reality, with a bump. Max has given me a month's notice. He wants me out. I, mean, I can't go on. My mum's still not talking to me. What a mess, eh? All right, taxi. When did you get back? Uh, yesterday. Yeah. How's things? Sound? You all right, Mark? Yeah, I'm smashing Hey, is my dad in the shop? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice one. I'll see you later then. Right. Maybe we should think of getting somewhere together. Well, it's a bit too early for that. I mean, we've had a great four weeks together, but I want to continue it like that before we start pushing into things. Mm. Maybe if I have a word in Max, right? I hope you can persuade him more than Patricia. I don't know where I'm going to get another living nanny job round here. Just waiting these. It's not your brains, then, is it? So what's the idea? All the books. The way it's on. Notice that, Jackie. I insult my son and he lets it go. Must be after something. See that? Woman's intuition now. Learned it all off me. What are you after, Michael? After? Am I getting the old feigned innocent trick here? Never works. Come on, then, what is it? There's more laundry in that bag, and... My flat's gone. Things people steal these days. That is not funny. I went down today and all the stuff was outside the door. And? And what? Well, do I feel a plea coming on? Well, I need somewhere to kip, don't I? Somewhere to study. Why well, could you have been away from ours for ages? I have. I left home last year. Cases, Andy, eh? Why are you coming home again? Well, not for long. Hey, Dad, can you do us a favour and take one of them bags to the Devi? Well, I'll have the lightest one then, eh? Nice one, Pop. I'll see you later. I'm just going to work. <sighs> That's probably a simple explanation. Yeah, well, the better that'd be. He's asking him up front where he got the camera from. Yeah, I suppose so. It's just 
Well, it's just that I had the feeling that things were getting on a more even keel, you know. Michael was getting more mature and I was relaxing with him a bit better. Yeah, well, if you do challenge him, you know, try and keep calm, eh? Yeah, I don't know, but it really gets on the inside going, you know? Anyway, Maxi Farnham should have been here now to help me sort out this Jimmy Corkill business. Yeah, isn't it a bit embarrassing with Jackie working here and things being strained between you and... Yeah. I suppose I should have a word, really. Oh, do you want me to make myself busy? Aye, Thanks, better Did you know that one in every hundred couples call off the marriage within the week before the ceremony? And the other 99 wish they had by the week after. Oh, you're a cynic. Listen, Jack, can I, uh, well, can I have a word about this turn up with Jimmy? What do you mean? Well, I've got to do something about him taking trade off me. Ron, there's two men in my life. There's Jimmy Corkill, that rogue next door, and there's the one I'll live with when we go home. Yeah, but you do know he's squatting in there, don't you, love? He's told me he got an agreement with Barry Grant before he left, and I have to accept that. Yeah, well, I uh, just want to say I'm sorry about this. What have you got to be sorry about? Well, I mean, we do work together after all, don't we? And well, that's the way I wanted to stay. Yeah, but you got to understand, Jack that I've got to try and get Jimmy out of that shop next door. I mean, it's a matter of principle now. I know. Right, well, I'll go and see our Michael. Then that Maxi Flame and Farnham. So you're moving back in with your mum and dad then, are you? Afraid so. Parental protection and dependence beckons again. Ah, it never leaves you, mate. Hello, Mick. All right, Ron. Would there be any chance of having a quick word with the senior offspring here for a minute? Yeah, of course it is. Go ahead. What's up? Well, there's a video camera in your bag. That's what's up. It just gaped open. I know. It's borrowed. It's what? I borrowed it from the poly, Dad. I've got to make a film. Is this straight up, Michael? Yeah, me and a few mates have each got to make a film to take down to the Edinburgh TV Festival. And I'm going down there anyway, cos I'm on a TV and young people's event. Huh? So what's the film about, then? Well, it's called Heart. Oh, it's a medical thing? No, we're trying to get away from the formularised linear construction and, you know, move to a more diffuse narrative. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah, well... At least you set my mind at rest. Dad, will you stop worrying? You're going to put yourself in an early grave. Hey, you and the other two will do that, no problem. Anyway, back to work or the boss will get on me back. Yeah. Have you heard any more about this place, Nick? No. Uh, some word has got wrong, hasn't he? What's that? Look, I wasn't going to mention anything, but uh, Terry's going to sell all his gear off in here. Oh, no. Me and Ellis have been busting our good trying to get a loan, but uh, no chance. Mind you, the interest rates can cripple you, you know, Mick. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell Ellis. I don't know, the it's as well we don't get it. I'll be out of a summer job. Ah, uh, yeah. But you can always come and work for me, can't you? See you, boys. See you, Rob. Is there something the matter, Max? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, how can I help you? Corkland's going to be on home soon. Come on, we better get this over with. You know, I think it would be better if we considered things over the weekend. Strike while the iron's hot, Maxie. The problem is, uh, Anna's just about to go and Patricia's not back yet. Oh, I can wait if you have some business. Well, that's very kind of you. Uh... Would you like to go upstairs and see how Thomas is? Now look, I do not think this is a very good idea. What are you talking about? It's the best idea you've ever had. I mean, after all, you do officially represent the landlord, don't you? You know, this is the last time I do anything like this. I'm not some conciliatory service, you know. Well, if you come round there now and sort him out properly, you won't need to do it again, will you? Come on. Time, didn't you? 
Yeah, well, I was going to come the other day, but... You sent your half other instead? I wasn't up to it. Oh, and you are today? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a lot better. When will I know when you're completely better, Sammy? Well, it's only a matter of time, isn't it? You don't believe that as well, do you? It's all gone wrong, Sammy. You, me, your dad. My dad's obsessed. And you? You told him I could have had the baby. And am I wrong? Can you swear that you wouldn't? Hey, can you? I would I didn't want you to take her. And I don't want you away from me. I just want us to be back together. I wondered, uh, could we have a word, please? Can we watch this? Come in mob banded, are we now, Ronnie? Hey, I don't need a mob. Just a bit of officialdom. I think it would be better all round if we went inside. And what's it all about? Can we go inside? Listen, have you got something to say, say it here? Just give it to him straight, will you, Maxie, lad? Give me what straight? You shouldn't be here. Now, hold on a minute, gentlemen. Now, look. You are squatting on these premises, and you know you shouldn't be. Well, that's very harsh, that is. Just tell him to get out. Uh, what grounds would that be on again? Here, squatting. Am I? I've got an exclusive contract. Courtesy of Barry Grant. Ah, but you can't prove that, can you? All right. And you can't disprove it. Yes, well, my company, Fletcher Estates, is running this development on behalf of Barry Grant, and there is no record of any such contract that you speak of. It's not my problem, is it? And you happen to be talking to someone who's taken on an empty shell of a unit and given this community a good service. That's not the point. Oh, isn't it? Well, let me tell you something, mate. I was a member of this community while you were still at college learning how to use your telescope. The other light. All right, all right, hold on. Well, let's get sidetracked here. Just tell him that you're going to get the law onto him. Oh, the law, is it? The law, is that right? Haven't you told him, Maxie? No? Oh, well, I'll tell him, shall I? Listen, even if I was squatting, there's nothing you can do about it, dicko, because I have not done any criminal damage to that place. Is he right? And I'll tell you something else, and all. I have even got a key. Yes, I'm afraid he's right. Eh? It really wouldn't be worth the hassle. Well, there you go, then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a little bit of tidying away to do. See ya. Look, um, there was really nothing I could do about it. Consult the experts. Fax? Uh. Oh, Derek. Uh, hello. Uh, can I have a quick word, please? Well, can it wait? I must get back. Well, I won't take a few minutes, honestly. I just wanted to apologise for the trouble, the disruption I've caused. Yes, well, it's all done with now. Yeah, but the consequences of it aren't. I mean, I can understand your anger at Mark. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody can. Yeah, and I know it was wrong of us to go away without telling you and Patricia. Yes, the courtesy of a small phone call would have done the trick. <laughs> yeah, I realise that, but, I mean, Margaret was at the end of her tether. <laughs> yes, I know the feeling. But, you know, she's deeply sorry about this. Yes, so am I, deeply sorry. It's been a difficult time for everybody. Margaret's mind certainly wasn't on the job. Yeah, I know she's... know she let you down. Look, what are you expecting me to do? Well, in a cockeyed way, I'm asking you to reconsider your decision. You know we've taken on another nanny. Yeah, but no one knows Thomas better than Margaret. Look, what I've offered is not unreasonable, given the circumstances. Margaret's got one month's notice, and then from that time on, she'll be looking for somewhere else to live. Right? Hey, hey, behave now, boys. It doesn't seem like a waste of time, mate, doing all this when you know it's going to be sold. I don't know. On the market for months, yeah, mate. I was thinking of incorporating the demise of this place in my video, you know. What video's that? I'm making a video for college. Oh, wait, so they can see me cry my eyes out when I get evicted? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Social documentary. Record life as it unfolds. <laughs> all right, Mick. Uh, you don't mind if Mr and Mrs Lord have a little look around, do you? I'll tell you what, why don't you start off upstairs, eh, and then I'll be up with you in a minute, OK?
I think it could be on a winner with this couple. Look, says I'm breaking my neck trying to get the money together for this place. Yeah, I know, and I didn't realise that you were in the running for it. I just thought you were helping Alice out. All right, William, well, you know, no. But have you got the money? No, not yet. Well, I need the money as soon as possible. Well, why all the panic? It's no panic. It's just this place that's screwing me up, isn't it? It reminds me too much of Barry and Sue. You can understand that. Look, Tess. I just want to get shut. It looks like this couple want it. So, by all means, keep the place open over the weekend. Earn yourself an extra few quid rent free. But I want the keys by Monday. I'm sorry. You see, I reckon we can get it sorted. And in no time, that'll be fine. We've been there. We've done that bit. Well, it takes more than a few weeks. Shouldn't take you that long to grow close to your own baby, Sammy. Look, can't we just start again? You haven't seen a baby for days. You've come round here to talk to me. You haven't even asked me how she is. I was going to. I just... All I wanted... Oh, look, you know what I mean. That's no good. It's getting worse. Well, what's my dad going to tell the social worker? I mean, he's already lying, saying everything's fine. Well, then he's as blind as you are, then, isn't he? Oh, please, don't go again. You answer me one thing, and I want the truth. Do you want me and Louise, or do you just want me? Of course I want you. And Louise, all of us. No, you don't. You don't want her. I know you don't. I do. I love her. No, you don't. I do. Look, I'll tell the social services. Don't bother, Sammy. They already know. I've told them she's getting well looked after. And I've told them I'm keeping her. Owen, please, just give me one more chance. It's over, Sammy. What do you mean? I mean, we are finished. Over, all right? You can't do that to me. Look, Owen, please, I love you. I'll change. Will you just stay? Look, I'll do anything you want. It won't work. It'll never work. It's finished. I want a divorce. I want a divorce. I'll fight to get custody of this child. You sure I leave the place decent? Don't know why. Got nothing to do with us after today. I don't want anybody saying that I left the place in a tip. We made this place a little palace. All the decorating we did. <laughs> Can't take it with us, can we? We should charge Terry for it. And for all the goodwill we built up, people were starting to count on us. They were coming back regularly. Don't even talk about it. You had so many good ideas for this place. All in menus for kids' parties, special promotion days, starters, sweets, all kinds of toppings. And your mate has to go and throw it all away. Look, you can't blame Terry for wanting to make a fresh start. After all he's been through. You're too nice for your own good. He'd no need to sell the gear. He's all right for a few bob. You can't expect him to just give it away, can you? We could have rented it. 
paid it off over time. He just wants out of the hall. Because he wants out, we've got to get out too. Money rules. Yeah, it does when you haven't got it. That it? Yeah. If you say so. There you are, Terry. That's for you. No, no, leave it, bro. Let him clear it up. There's no need for all that, you know. Uh, it's only half of what I'd like to do. Hey, it's a bit early for locking up. I'm only doing it permanently, it isn't. Ah, oh, you definitely closed, isn't it? No hope. Unless you've got 15 grand in your hand, mate. I thought you were all right, you know. You all seem very busy. Yeah, we were. We're not well enough to buy Terry out. Just taking the keys around there now. No, we're not. What do you mean? I'll get that money if it kills me. Give me two hours. Hey, Ellis, what about no, the keys? Two hours! We've already tried the banks! How stupid can you get? He's trying to help. Some help? What am I going to tell Terry when he comes round? Now, usually, we think of camels in a hot desert environment where food and indeed... There you go. That'll make you feel better. Hey, don't switch it off. You're watching it. Oh, no, I'm not really interested. Biscuit? I never eat biscuits. I know, yeah, but I just thought it might give you a bit of energy. Well, with me having so much to do, you mean? We've got to decide what we're going to do about Louise. What can we do? Talk to Owen. I've been thinking if we can get him over here. He won't come, Dad. Don't say that. I'm not giving up that easy. Look, I've tried to talk to him. You've tried to talk to him. He won't listen. He's made his mind up. There's a baby involved here. Owen's not getting away with this game. Dad, he's not going to change his mind. Owen will see that when he's had a chance to think it through. No, he won't. He's made his mind up. He's going to keep her. Of course he has. And that's right. I'm talking about getting them both over here. I mean, I'm willing to forgive and forget. But he's not going to, is he? Dad, you don't understand. Owen wants to divorce me. And he wants to keep Louise. Terrible wondering where I've got to. How long have you got? Well, I said I'd take the keys up this morning. Someone's coming for the gear this afternoon. Morning, all. Aye, aye. You're cheerful, aren't you? And why not? Hey, do you fancy a day out? What sort of a day out? Coach trip to Alton Towers, and I am selling a ticket. Charlotte. Part of me job now, I'm on a committee down the Legion Lake. You never? I am, as of last night. How did that happen? Well, I just happened to pop in for a drink, and he invited me into the committee room. Not the committee room. The committee room. <laughs> she don't want shorts on account of my mate Charlie resigning, you know. Why would he resign? Well, it wasn't so much a resignation. It's a nice way of putting it, you know. If he hadn't have jumped, he'd have been pushed. Apparently, he booked a stripper for the ladies' night and forgot to ask for a fella. <laughs> I can see that's a resigning matter. Uh -huh. So they had to get me in, didn't they? Yours truly had to take the oath and sign the pledge, which leaves me in charge of the Legion's most prestigious annual day out. Obviously, the right man for the job. Sounds like a good day out, that. Yeah, will be. So I've got to sell these last 25 tickets to fill the coach before next week. So, what about it, Michael, eh? Just right for the kids? I'd like to, mate, but uh, I'm brassic. All right, you all sorted? Sort of. So you're going to pop up the keys? Yeah, uh, let's have a word first. Oh, what's going on here? Tell us. Mick, I need to get in here. Oh, come on, where are the keys? Ellis has got them and he's just took off. Well, you're going to have to get him back, aren't you? I can't. I don't know where he is. to do things. I mean, I used to be able to cope. <sighs> at school, everything was dead easy, and I was good at my job. We should have helped you more. Yeah, well, that was...
was part of the trouble, wasn't it? You could all do it better than me. I'll go. Yeah. Hello, Frank. Hello, Lynn. Come in. I brought this round. Yeah? It's from your boss, Mr Knight. He said you wanted to know if I heard anything. Yeah, thanks. Have I come at a bad time? Uh, not really, no. Um, look, come in. Hello. It's about the compensation for our Nick. Company gonna pay? Afraid not. The answer's definitely no. Your boss says they're not legally bound. There's such a thing as what's right. Your brother died driving a company truck. His dependents are entitled to the money. Yeah, but what can we do? Nick always did his job. But he broke the rules. He shouldn't have had those passengers with him on the trip. But they were only there because I asked him. Look, Frank, thanks for trying. I can't leave it like that. Your Sammy looks tired. I'm all right. Everything working out, is it? It will do. Louise all right? Don't know. I wouldn't still got it. Sorry. Yeah, well, you'll all know soon enough. Sammy. Look, I don't even know how my own baby is. And I haven't even got a husband anymore. Patricia doesn't like the ironing being done in here. Oh, so where did you do it then? In the garden? No, I mean in the lounge. Anyway, I didn't really do all of it. Just Thomas's things. Oh, these are Thomas's things. You don't have to wear in his vest. There's no need. Well, I like to keep him nice, even the bits people don't see. Well, I always kept him nice. But it's my job now. Hello. Hiya. I thought I'd get home early. Miss the rush hour. Anyway, it's easier to work on the charity account at home. Yeah, I don't want to set that. It's getting to the point of the office where I feel I can only look at those under the desk. If I pick them up, somebody's bound to come along. Um, you do want all of Thomas's clothes ironing, don't you, Mrs. Farnham? Yeah, of course I do. Even the vests? Oof, well, Thomas won't know what's hit him, but why not? I was just telling Anna we normally do the ironing in the kitchen. Oh, right. Well, it probably is better. Whatever you think. Otherwise, the smell gets all through the house. Thanks, Anna. Seems funny Thomas going to play group with Anna and not me. That's what she's paid for. Yeah, I suppose I better start looking for somewhere else. It's no job for me here anymore. Well, Anna's contract's only for a month, sort of probationary period. Yeah, but she's super nanny, isn't she? She owns Thomas's vests. And doesn't get involved with priests. Yet. Well, Anna might iron Thomas's vests, but she hasn't been through what we've been through together. Do you think I'm still in with a chance then? Well, you know, I don't want you to go. Yeah, it's not just the job I'd miss, it's you and Thomas. And even Max. Hmm, well, that's the problem, Max. Yeah, it's pretty obvious he don't want me here anymore. Oh, don't give up. We've got a month to win him round. Do you reckon that's going to be enough? Of course I do. Are you sure he's set on it, this divorce? Sammy thinks so. People say all sorts when they're upset. He's still got the baby. He won't even bring it round. He must have some rights. Go to court, you mean? Well, I hope it won't come to that. Oh, well, if I have to, I'll fight for that baby. <laughs> Only that one gets Sammy and Owen back together. Do you think I don't know that? I want the baby to have everything she needs. We all want the best for the kids. Yeah, but a baby should have two parents, a mum and a dad. There's plenty I have to get by without. I've been divorced nine years now. I'm sorry. Our Alison was only two when Steve took off. But we've got by. I shouldn't be bothering you with my problems. It's all right. What are friends for? No point in having hard times if you don't learn a thing or two. Do you think we'll be able to sort this out? I think it's your Sammy and Owen that have got to sort it out. And it's obvious they can't do that while they're living under separate roofs. How long do you think he's going to be? I don't know, sir, did it? Well, do you know any good housebreakers, then? I don't know what he thinks he's playing at. Well, he better hurry up, because I've got people coming to take this stuff out this afternoon. So, what next for you, then? Don't know. Don't make plans anymore. Remember when we were running the cab? 
We used to cover for each other's shift. Yeah, the good old days. But that's all in the past. I couldn't do the nights you did. If you couldn't, I did. I thought we were mates, Tess. We are mates. Well, why don't you give me a bit longer, then? That's what I'm doing now, isn't it? I mean, that's why we're sitting out here. No, I mean, to get some money together. I'm sure I can make a go of this business. I just want to get rid of it. Well, that's fair enough, but can't you give me more time? Do you know what day it is on Friday? No. My wedding anniversary, me and Sue, three years it would have been. Now do you understand? Yeah, I know it's been tough. I've learned a few things since then. I've learned a few things since Sue died. Yeah, I'm sorry. And one of them is look after number one, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. That's why I want the money, and that's why I want it today. All right, Moss. Mommy. All right. Hiya. What are you doing here? Turn up a few loose ends, getting the rest of my gear, packing up the market store. Where have you been? Uh, getting my head together. Hey, does anyone want a can from the shop? I'm going for one. No, no, no. You see Josie? Yeah, she's all right. I'd still been staying with. She's still with Tony? Yeah. Sorry, mate. You'll learn to live with it. Bad. You just missed him. Is he one of the loose ends you've come to tie up? No. Too much unraveled there. No, this is it, Mick. Come to pack my bags and go. Said that was right. That's spot on, that. So, uh, you're the new nanny then? Oh, temporary, uh, but I hope to be permanent. So, what happened to Margaret? Mm, that isn't up to me. Um, hi, can I have a word? Uh, well, can it wait? Um, in private, before you see Mrs. Farnham. Um, all right then, yeah, in a minute. Look, uh, here you are. It's for you. What's this? It's what we owe you. Oh, I've just paid him. No, 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 it's not for the windows. It's uh, for caretaking the shops. Oh. Never thought Wages Clark would appear on my CV. You see, Barry Grant has arranged with my firm to look after the shops while he's away, so we'll be paying you in future. Uh, I can't use this. Well, why not? It's, uh, it's a perfectly valid cheque drawn on a sound account. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, but that's not how Barry pays me. Well, how did he pay you? He pays me cash, like for the windows. Ah, oh, I see. So the taxman doesn't know about it. Look, well, the taxman's not going to be interested, is he, the amount that I earn? Well, anyway, look, it's nothing to do with me. I'm just a messenger. Well, look, can I have cash then every Friday? I can't run around with money in my briefcase. Oh, well, I can't do the caretaker and then, can I? And that's your responsibility. No, it's not, because I've been lumbered with this because I live near Ron Dixon and Jimmy Corkill and now you. Next time Barry Grant decides on a holiday, I hope he takes his business elsewhere. Yeah, if he ever comes back, well, I'll have to do something about this then, won't I? I don't know, I'm getting more legit every day. What's the world coming through? I need to know if I am safe in my job. Um, Mrs. Farnham and Margaret are always talking. Well, they've been through a lot together. I like it here. I want to stay. But how can I be sure whilst Margaret is still here? I've only got a contract for a month. There are things we need to sort out. I need to know. Between Patricia and me, you can set your mind at rest. You get through this probationary month. The job's yours. No problem. You all right? I told her she'd be better off with a bit of company. Oh, and the good old British remedy. We'll be drowning in it soon. Limit's telling me about her little girl. Not exactly little. Going on 12. Nearly as tall as me. May's now you old, isn't it? And our Gavin is taller than me. I had to go up on tiptoes the other day to tell him off. I might not even know Louise when she grows up. Of course you will. Look, whatever happens, you can keep in touch with her. The reason my ex lost touch with ours is because he just couldn't be bothered. Beauty Falls. And I've survived. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to be happy. Survival first. The rest comes later. God, when my fella went, I thought I'd never get over it. Why did he go? Itchy feet. Couldn't stand staying in the same place. It was all right when we were cruising. Cruising? Yeah, that's where we met, on a cruise ship. He was the drummer in the band. I was one of the dancers. Well, I thought you were a doctor's receptionist. I am now, but I wasn't always. I've had my moments. You'd be surprised. 
Hey, I was in the van once. Oh, no, not the Scotty dogs again, Dad. <laughs> the Scotty dogs? I don't believe it. Hey, we weren't bad, you know. We played the Grafton, the Cavern, the Mardi Gras. I once backed Billy J. Kramer. Sorry, but I've heard all this before. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. I'm just trying to cheer you up. Oh, and you have done. I mean, you two are living proof that there is life after divorce. I suppose I just better get used to it, haven't I? Hey, come on, 12 quid a ticket. <clears throat> At your coach, your entrance, all your rides, you can't afford to miss it. I can't afford to even think about it, mate. Yeah, I don't think I'll be around. I, mean, I don't even know what I'm doing this week, let alone next week. And when I'm sorted, I'm probably going to get off. I don't know what's happened to Willis. He should have been well back by now. Hey, don't be leaving it too long, you know. Otherwise, all these tickets will be gone. I mean, once a coach is full, it's full. Last. <sighs> hey, look, I'll reserve one for you if you like, you know. Keep it for three days. <laughs> Simba, the very man. Is this your lucky day or what? I have got something here that you won't want to miss. How do you fancy a fantastic day out here? Perfect romantic setting for you two lovebirds? Uh, I don't know, Ron. Uh, please yourself, but you'd be sorry, you know. I don't know, Ellis. Come on, just give us the keys, will you? <laughs> but look, look, I've got it and it's yours. Where'd you get it from? From a bank. Where else does money come from? Yeah, but from? they weren't too keen last week. Yeah, but that was last week. Look, look, look. It's genuine. Take it. How much? 15 grand, like you asked for, on the pizza gear's house. Yeah, but I've already told this other fella I'm selling it to him. But our money's as good as anybody else's. Oh, go on, take it. It's real. Look. Yeah, but where did it come from? Ellis, will you listen to me? I've already promised it to this other fella. Yeah, but we're here, aren't we? Oh, come on, for old times' sake. Better the devil you know. Bezzy mates, all that crap. Can we talk about this? But thing? what's there to talk about? Terry takes the money and we get the pizza gear. How's about it, Ted? Oh, why not, eh? I mean, I could always say I got a better offer, couldn't I? And I might as well do you a favour. Hey, that. 15 grand, good feeling. Hey, cheer up, bro. We're back in business. Go on. Get the ovens going. Right, let's go then. <laughs> all yours, Mick. And then I want to know exactly where this money came from. This is bound to be a catch. I've uh, put Thomas's washing in the machine. Yeah, thanks. I'll get it out. And uh, I've laid his things out for the morning. You do want him in the blue shirt? Or whatever you think best. You're then? Oh, yes. Um, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye, Margaret. Oh, yeah, see you, Anna. Ah, good girl, that. Never seen the place look so tidy. Certainly gets us organised. What's the matter with her, then? I don't think you were very tactful. Well, I didn't say a thing. Not about Margaret, no, but you were a bit enthusiastic about Anna. Well, I am enthusiastic about Anna. She's a very good nanny. It's difficult for Margaret. That was a cuckoo in her nest. Her nest? This isn't Margaret's nest, it's our nest. Whose ever nest it is, there isn't room for both of them. Ah, that's obvious. It's only for one month. What happens at the end of that? Well, one of them's got to go. Mm, but which one? Well, as I've... <laughs> as we've already sacked one, I would have thought that was obvious, don't you? Not really. I'm still going to need to be greatly impressed during this probationary period. We'll have to see, won't we? You can stay for your tea if you want, you know. No, I'd better get off. I've left the kids with me, Mum. There you are. Throw that in the bin for us, will you? What is it? It's the letter from your boss about not paying our next compensation. Nothing more I can do. I'll have it. I don't think it needs a reply. It just says, sorry, but he's not entitled to any payout. End of story. It's not the end of the story, as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing you can do, Frank. All the lads feel strongly about this. They all like Nick. I know. They all want to do something. But what can they do? If the firm's insurance won't pay up, it won't. Then the owner of the firm should pay out of his own pocket. What with? I don't know. That's not my problem. But I'm not leaving it there. Look, Frank, I don't want you to bother yourself. I'm grateful for all you've done. It's no bother as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, I'm doing the right thing. If I get all the lads together, we might be able to change Knight's mind. Nick's kids deserve it. Look, read for yourself. The driver's families are only entitled to compensation for death if everything's above board. They were the company rules, and our Nick was breaking them. The company might be legally right, 
But as far as I'm concerned, they've got a moral obligation. Nick's family need that money. Know all that, but there's nothing else we can do. Yes, there is. Forget words. Action, that's what's needed. If I can have word with all the drivers, get them all behind me, a trucking company with no drivers for a day or two, I think they might just reconsider, don't you? We yeah. have these on us, and as we're surrounded by friends and family, the pizzas are on the house. Which money carrying on like that? Uh, talking of money. Not now, eh, big man? Not in our second opening day in a month. Look, Nick, could you do us a favour? Can I stay at yours while I sort myself out? You could stay on the couch, Mars. No problem. I stay at Simbad's, can I? Not unless you two sort yourselves out. It's too late. Oh, you did all right, these, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You certainly know more about this stuff than I did. Yeah, he's put double anchovies on to celebrate. <laughs> well, I know how I'm going to celebrate. How? You'll see. <laughs> so, um, what brings you back? I'm not back. Could have fooled me. I'm only temporary. We've missed you, haven't we? So, uh, anyone for any more of my specials? So, where'd the money come from? I told you. A bank. Hey, now, don't give me that. We got KB'd from every bank in town. OK, then, a special bank. And would that be, uh, special rates? Look, we were in a hole and I got us out of it. Or have you put us in a deeper one? Are we going to pay that money back? Uh, don't worry, this place will really pick up, believe me. We'll repay it easy. How much? 600 a month. What? For how long? For how long, Ellis? Five years. I don't believe you. What have you done to us? Brookside's back on Monday at the same time and don't forget our omnibus edition Sunday morning at 10.30. Tomorrow morning at 9, Scandal looks at those TV evangelists who've exchanged God for money. This isn't men's work, this. I thought you were a new man. Yeah, that's what your mother would like me to think. Sometimes I think I was better off when I wasn't supposed to have a clue. Don't tell her, eh? She'll notice us. Ah, you're right. Eagle eyes women, haven't they? Don't know how they do it. Hey, that's me you're talking about. Hey, not you. You've got loads of time yet. Oh, anyway, he's got the evidence to show me, Mum. What are you doing? I'm just trying it out. Not on me, you're not. It's too late for that now, Dad. Where'd you get it? Got it from Polly. What's that for? Are you thinking of sending the tape into the telly to one of them shows? Nah, I'm doing this as a project for me course. Hey, it's brilliant. It's called washing up there. I'm doing side clothes. Oh, if you want any more, you can come round here. I've just stuck some out. You still working there, then? No, I haven't got my job. I've got my room just for the next few weeks until I find another living job. Hey, I've got something that'll cheer you up. How do you fancy your day out next week? I'm selling some tickets for the trip to Alton Towers. How about you and our Degsy going? Yeah, sounds all right. Hey, you're on. Two tickets for the lady over the edge. Call around the shop after and pick them up. Thanks. Right, Jackie, finish this lot off, will you? I've got work to do. Hey, you've got work to do here. Hey, enough of being the new man. I'm going back to being the old man. Hey, how does it know I get lumbered? Hey, do you want me side view or the front leg? Don't worry, Dad, I'll get both. I'm going to have to get myself an agent next. Hope you haven't got me on that. 
But if he has, he wants to charge you extra for them these. I just need a bit of practice for my walk. Hey, love the boots. See you later. Thanks a lot. Always fancied one of those, you know. It'd be nice to have a record of life's highlights. Uh, well, it's not really for that, you know. I went in for slides when the family were young, but there's a lot to be said for moving pictures. Uh, me and my mate are doing a project for the Edinburgh TV Festival. We've got ourselves a venue and all that. Oh, really? That's very impressive. Oh, it's a lovely place, Edinburgh. Been a while since we were there, though. When would it be now? Oh, about 1983. No, I'll tell a lie, it was 84. Uh, we're in the brochure and all that. Oh, really? Well, good luck with it. Oh, before you go, you don't fancy sponsoring me, do you? Your dad is. I'm raising money for Brookside Comprehensive. I'm doing a sponsored walk across England. I'm sorry, I'm going to need every penny I've got for this, Phil. Oh, fair enough. I've got plenty of other arms to twist. All right, see you later. <laughs> Bye-bye now. You can fit, are you, John? Yeah, just doing a bit of training for the walk. Three miles or twice a day, I'm building up, you know. I'm doing a sponsored walk to Hull from here. Listen, I'd like to stay, John, but uh, I've got to get off to work, you know. See you later. All right. I'll be around later. I hope I can count on you for sponsorship. <laughs> Boots, start walking. It's emotional blackmail, this, you know. Exactly. But why should Nick's kids go sure? Because there's no compensation. One day of action will show the company how we feel. Nicola and Janine. All right, nice looking kids. How's Nick's wife? Still devastated by it all. She doesn't think this'll do any good. Well, the boss will know what we're fighting for once he sees these. As long as I get them back. Well, of course she will. Hey, listen, I was thinking, um, would you come down the yard with us? I mean, the lads. Me? Yeah, well, once the picket starts, the boss is bound to come down. And I won't get into a slanging match if he sees you there, being Nick's sister. You could even show him a photo of the girls. Oh, right. If you're sure. Yeah. Great. I'll make a flask. How's your Sammy? Oh, you know, I just wish I knew what to do. Do you think Owen's serious about this divorce? I hope not. Everyone has hard times. They should try and work it out. <laughs> Tell that to my ex. I wish I could knock some sense into that Owen. But what good would that do? Threatening him won't bring him back. And that's what she wants. I know. They're only young. Not as young as Louise. She's got all life in front of her. And I want to see her grow up. Give them time. Oh, I better not try and keep her away from me. I'll take him to court if I have to. She's not your baby, Frank. It's Sammy will have to do that. I just wish I knew how to sort it out. And I wish I could tell you. Right, so we off then. Hopefully by the end of the day, Nick's family should be 25 grand better off. You sure we're doing the right thing? Therefore, I owe it to Nick's wife. And these two. You're a good man, Frank Rogers. So we off then. Why not? 50 quid, that. That's all I need. Oh, hey, do you think I made the money? This is the trading post, you know, not Tesco's. We've got to get a deposit in for a room this week, otherwise we won't get one. Edmund gets totally booked up. Somewhere to stay? No, somewhere to put the show on. So, uh, who's this we like? Well, it's me, Sever, Tippo and Boz. Hardly Warner Brothers, is it? Sounds more like the Marx Brothers. Look, we're all on the media <laughs> course together. We're banding together for a venue, showing short films and seeing who can get to see them. Yeah, but why go all the way to Edinburgh? There's rooms down here, isn't there? Oh, Dad, it's the TV festival. Everyone in the business will be there. Well, everyone. Like Bruce also. Just yeah. think about it. It'll do me future career, the world of good. Yeah, well, if you see a course, why isn't it covered by your grant? But do you know that far own bat? That's why I need a sponsor. A mug, you mean? A new better than my favourite, Brill, Fab Dad. It'll be like you be the executive producer. Executive, eh? You'll be getting a private jet next. Listen. Say that I did lend you the money, and I'm not saying that I will, but if I did, how do I know that I'd get paid back? I'm still out of pocket over that keyboard. Well, I'll tell you what, you can come in on the profits. You can get 20% of the door takings. Oh, that sounds all right. And you thought you were joking about the private jet, eh? Oh, Dad, there's, a, there's one little thing. Oh, uh, well, I might have no. Well, I need to do some editing, so how about you lend me the flat upstairs as an editing suite? I've got one that's not going to cost you a penny. I got all the stuff from college. Yeah, and I'll just pay the lecky bills, like. 
just want Dad. I'll just go and sort things out. How is it that they have a hotline straight to your wallet? I think it comes as part of the umbilical cord. Yeah, well, I'll just have to live forever and get my own back. Um, how are the tickets for that going? Not very well, I'm afraid, young Jacqueline. I'll never keep me place on the committee at this rate. I'll have one. Uh, well, I'm not sure about that, love. Well, I'll behave myself, you know, and I thought you were desperate to sell them. No, but it's just, well, someone has to stay and look after the shop, don't they? You mean me? Well, I mean, I've got to go, haven't I, Jack? I'm on a committee. I am an official representative of the British Legion. Ah. Oh. Never mind. You'll just have to take me somewhere else to make up. That reminds me. I've got to book a table at the Riverview. Um, I wasn't serious. I mean, for me and Dee Dee. We always go out for a meal on our wedding anniversary. <laughs> Lucky Dee Dee. 20 years we've been going. 20 years, never missed. Dee Dee would kill me if we went anywhere else. <laughs> Jimmy knows I'd kill him if he forgot. Yeah, he knows how to make a mess as well, doesn't he? Hey, that tinker's shop out there is getting worse. Yeah, I suppose he could do with a bit of a tidy up. I don't know what Max Farnham thinks he's doing, you know, allowing that sort of thing. It might be a misunderstanding about the rental arrangements. Misunderstanding, my foot. Come on, Jackie, everybody knows he's squatting. Well, I have now got it sorted out. How do you mean? Well, if your Jimmy isn't going to pay rent, I'm not going to pay rent. From now on, I am on an official rent strike. The mass you stay at yours over the weekend, Mick? Yeah, it's on the couch. Not that comfortable, but at least it's free. Did she say how long she might be stopping? Depends how long it takes her to sort out what she's got to sort out. Oh, the uh, market stall and all that. Well, not just that. Listen, Sin, why don't you and her try and do a bit of sorting out? After she bin me off. Well, people change their minds. Mm. Yeah. Really for the pizza, isn't it? Um, well, I've not come for a pizza, actually. I've come for a job. You've got a job? Um, not anymore, I haven't. Got my bed and board, but no wages. Max has sacked me. Oh. So I was wondering if you need anyone to look after Leo and Gemma, you know, now you've got this place. Oh, you're joking, love. I couldn't afford a nanny. I went to here with debt trying to pay for all this lot, not to mention the rent. Yeah, well, it's just a long shot, really. I don't fancy moving too far away. All right. Hiya, Mike. What is it this morning, then? Onions again. You got it, kid. Oh, well, um, if you hear of anything, you know. Hey, Mick, I'll be needing a few days off in a couple of weeks. Is that all right? You all right, mate? You're going on holiday? No, I'm going up to the Edinburgh TV Festival. Are you going to see the tattoo? There's more to Edinburgh than the tattoo, isn't there? Oh, yeah, like, uh, sporrans, haggis, kilts. No. <laughs> We're showing a video up there. Oh, what's the video again? Well, it's all based on the same theme, heart. Oh, what, like, showing an operation or something? No, that's the theme. It's associations, feelings. All feely videos, is it? You smell a vision next. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all part of the course, exploring the medium. Hey, listen, if I've still not found anything when he goes off to Edinburgh, I could have this old job, couldn't I? It'd be better than doing nothing. That's an idea. Well, I could look after Leo and Gemma at the same time. Yeah, you could have my job full time and I go back to college. Oh, hang on a minute. Who's supposed to be running this business? Oh, go on, Mick. It's only until I find something permanent. Yeah, why not? Well, I've still got a business to run, eh? Well, Mike's enjoying himself with that video camera, isn't he? Well, I wouldn't say he's exactly enjoying himself. I mean, he's only got two weeks to get his film ready. Of course, I'm helping out with the money, you know, me being executive producer. We have a studio upstairs. Uh, Editing thing, you know. Thanks. I'm letting them have the flats upstairs yeah. rent free. Oh, it's amazing what they can get up to at college these days. Ah, oh, Peter knows things I didn't even know I didn't know. <laughs> Likes this new job, does he? Yeah, he's getting on all right. He's got a long way to go, though. Why is he travelling? In his career, I mean, up a ladder. There's no knowing where our Michael's going to finish up. Hollywood, I shouldn't wonder. I was uh, hoping you might let me put one of these sponsored walk forms on your counter. Pick up the passing trade. Liverpool to Hull. I'd get no further than the top of our roads. Ah, go on, why not? Actually, I'm selling things myself, you know. How about a ticket for a coach trip to Walton Towers? What about my training schedule? Look, do your goods off the day off. You could take your Barbara. I don't really think it's Barbara's cup of tea. Well, there you go then, be your own man. Leave it at home and come with me. Mm. Come on, John, you've got the time, you've got the money. Treat yourself. I must say, I'm very tempted. Nice gardens there. Change of scenery do me good. Yes, I'm very tempted. Well, give in to it, then. You know what they say about all work and no play? It's not my problem, though, is it? Oh, go on. You'll love it. Go on, then. You're on. Good man. All right, Frank. All right, well. Lynn, this is Morris. Hello. 
Does Nick's sister always use them, is it? So far, so good. Nobody's gone in yet. Please. I've got some pictures of Nick's children. Frank thought it'd help if I brought them. Show them tonight. A bit of emotional blackmail. Good idea. Do you think this'll work? Should do, so long as we all stand together. It's a question of goodwill in the end, though, isn't it? Tonight's got no legal obligation. Yeah, but he's got a moral obligation. But there's nothing like keeping his wagons off the road to remind him of that. What are you going to do? Wait, we're all here. And we're sending the delegation to see Knight. Explain what we want and show him the pictures. Yeah, I'll give him some real show to the lads. It's very good of you all. Glad to help. Only hope it works. No problem. And now we've got these. Knight will soon see it our way. Right, then, who's feeling generous? I do the walking, you do the spending. What is it? I'm walking 140 miles for Barbara's school. Sure, rather right you than me, mate. <laughs> well, that'll keep me on the mischief, won't you? Well, uh, we're down for a pound. Total, that is, John. Sorry I can't manage any more, but I just have to find the money to buy the sort of tea. How did you manage that? I didn't. My brother did. Uh, it's nice to have your own business, though, isn't it? Yeah, if you can keep up the payments. I mean, I didn't even think about this day out to Alton Towers. I just want to take the kids, though. So Driving me mad, keep asking me. Yeah, well, I'll take them. Oh, nice one. Do you know what you're suggesting there, mate? Don't worry, mate. I'll give them the best day out ever. That's the spirit. I'm sorry, Nick, I forgot the keys. Uh, have you signed my sponsorship form? I'm doing it in two weeks' time. Oh, I'm sorry I won't be here. Oh. How about you? Uh, I don't know. Listen, <clears throat> uh, give them to Masters, what he means. I'm beginning to think that the walking's the easiest bit. It's getting the money out of people, it's going to be hard. Are you going to give me them all? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did he get that from? Looks all right, doesn't it? All right, Mick, here's that spare set of keys I found them this morning. Have you won the pools? What, the motor? No, no, I just got some money from selling all the stuff in here, so I thought I'd put it into something. And I've still got a few bob left. What about Pete and Joe? Are they turning to this morning? I think they're away on long runs. Right then. You gonna see your boss? Of course I am. Show them these. Look, Frank, uh, don't you think you'd be better letting me go in? It's my job. It's me that should have been doing Nick's run in the first place. I told you, it could have happened any time. It was me that landed Nick with illegal passengers. A fresh face might help. Knight's only going to blame you for swapping runs. We don't want to antagonise him, do we? I won't antagonise him, Mo. I'll just put it to him straight. Does he want to do right by Nick's family, or doesn't he? But you're emotionally involved. It'd be better to let Morris go. I can explain what we want, no problem. All right, then. But don't forget to tell him about Nick's kids and the fact it wasn't Nick's fault that he was carrying passengers. You can trust me. Right, then. See ya. And hey, Mo, tell him nobody's going in there until he pays up. Everything all right, then? You know. You? Keep me busy. Oh, I've just come back to get a few things. Where are you going? I've got a friend in Birmingham. It's a long way. That's the idea. It's a good thing about travelling light. Not a lot to pack. I have some stuff at mine, you know. Keep it. It's rubbish anyway. So how long are you going to be staying? Depends how long I can stand it on Mick's couch. Long enough for you and me to have a talk. Why not? Hey, that sounds brilliant. That's how can we go? Can you go? You've got to go. If I don't fill up all them places on the coach, my name's gonna be mud down the lead. He only gets to stay on the committee if he makes a success of this. Hey, so does that mean that you and my mum come on as well? Of course it does. Dad, have you seen that flash car Teddy's got? We've heard the rackets. And don't you go getting any ideas. Hey, you come on out on the stairs with me, Dad. Nah, I don't think so. Hey, you can take that camera of yours and take some nice pictures. Hey, that's a good idea, that. Yeah, we could show them now the Legion. If you want to lose a lot of friends. Hey, that reminds me, Jacqueline. You'll have to stay out the flat upstairs for the next couple of weeks. Michael's turning it into an editing thingy. Oh, what? It's technical, love. Hey, Dad, have you seen the date on that? 
course I've seen the date on that. It means I've just got one week to flog the rest of the tickets. So what does my mum say about it? Well, she says like everybody else, doesn't she? It's gonna be a great day out. So she doesn't mind spending a wedding anniversary with half the Legion, then? Yeah, but... Oh, no, I forgot. Forgot what? Oh, he's right, it's our anniversary. Oh, I promised I'd take Dee Dee down the Riverview like we do every year. She's gonna kill me if I don't take her. Don't take her? The day can happen without you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. The first event that I'm asked to organise and I don't even go on my own trip. That's really gonna impress him down the Legion, that, isn't it? They're throwing me off the committee now, you know. What am I gonna do? Well, why did you leave like you did? Just disappearing? Because I thought you'd never be able to understand the fact I can't have kids. Look at the way you went for Ellis. You made all these plans. I just wish I could give you everything you want. All I want is you. I've missed you. I've missed you too. Got used to you being around. Yeah, but I wasn't the person you thought I was. Well, nobody gets everything, do they? Look, I've been thinking since I saw you yesterday. I've been thinking about what I could settle for. And I could just settle for me and you. Yeah, but look at the way you went for Ellis. I thought you'd never understand. It was a bit of a shock. Yeah, well, I was just a bit of a kid when that bloke lumbered me. And you thought it was a slag. I thought it was Ellis. Yeah, well, it wasn't. There was no need to mention his name. Anyway, it was a long time ago. Look, I didn't want it to be like this. You see, it can't work out. We can't even talk. Well, never mind what's happened. What about what's gonna happen? Yeah, well, that's easy, isn't it? I'm packing me bags, I'm giving up the stall, and I'm going. But what about us? What about trying again? What's the point? It didn't work out. It can't work out. But I'm sorry I came back. Well, I'm sorry, lads, but the answer's no. What do you mean, no? Light's not gonna pay up. He says he can't afford it. You what? Did you explain? Of course I explained. And he's sorry about Nick, but there's nothing he can do. There's plenty he can do. He can find the money for a start. And where's the money supposed to come from? The insurance won't pay up. We know that. Now can find it. He owes it to Nick. This is only a small family firm. He does all right out of it. Not so well as he can afford 25 grand out of his own pocket. He hadn't come out of his profits. He's got this place to run, Frank. If he can't keep the wagons on the road, there's no work for any of us. He's talking sense, Frank. You can't want men laid off. I want what's fair. Knight's getting pretty fed up, Frank. He says if we don't all get inside now, we can all collect our cars. There's plenty of other drivers on the dole he can choose from. You've done your best. Don't think I don't appreciate it. What are you doing? Call it a take, Frank. It's a losing battle. It's not worth losing your job over. I don't like letting Nick's family down. He means it, Frank. There's no way he's going to change his mind. You'd better come inside now if you don't want the boot. Go on, Frank. No way. I'm sorry, Frank. I've got me mortgage to think of. I didn't want all this. I wanted to do this for Nick's family. You've got your own family to think of. I feel like I've let you down. You haven't let me down. You've done brill. I can't do no more. Is that it, then? I suppose so. I'm sorry. Thanks for everything. I hope things work out for your Sammy and that. Lynn. I'll see you. I had my eye on it all week. Well, I didn't want anyone else to get in there first. So that's why you wanted the money for the shop fitting so quick. Well, you've got to live life while you've got the chance, haven't you? What can I do, then? I was naught to 60 in about nine seconds. I think it's got a top speed of about 120. Where can you do that? I mean, there's such a thing as a speed limit. <laughs> ah, it's not where you do it, is it? It's whether you get caught. So, how much does one of these things set you back, then? No, I think they're about 24 grand. But I've got a real bargain here. I got this second hand. You didn't spend the old 15 grand, did you? Nah, I'm now. Just over 10. So don't worry. I've still got plenty of change left. <laughs> so it's spend, 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 is it? Yeah, well, that's the idea. 
I'm gonna start living again, aren't I? I'll see you. Bye then. You know what? I'm in debt to I don't know who for that. I've got to find six hundred pound a month to repay a loan, and it's just a toy to him. Oh, perhaps he needs a toy. <sighs> I don't know what's got into Terry. He's just reliving his youth. That's all. Yeah, will he stop there though? I oh, just want some bit of fun, that's all. Oh, you're right. No sign of life. Do you think that means fall gone? Come on, let's go and have a look. Well, the telly's not on, so Tomo can't be around. The hairdryer's not going, so Tracy must have gone. That means we've actually got the house all to ourselves. Our own house to start our married life in. Well, I thought we'd started that already. Been Mrs. Corkle now for three weeks. Oh, yeah, but being on honeymoon doesn't count. Being married is when you start doing ordinary things. Come choose some more paper tomorrow. Just back. We had a great time. Yeah, sun, sea, sand and... Each other. Back to reality now, eh? Suits me. You all right? Yeah, never felt better. I've just done 20 sit-ups. You sure you're not overdoing it? Well, I've got to be fit if I'm going to walk 140 miles in three weeks. You're home early, aren't you? This work thing's not as bad as I thought. Don't know why I avoided it for so long. You buckle down, you'll do well. I know you will. I've got head voices. Nice legs, John. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of training. You got it, flaunt it. Look, I'm just doing a few exercises in my back garden. I'm not flaunting it. So uh, what's the training in aid of, then? Sports Barbara sport. School. Coast to coast. Well, that'll take some doing. Well, we'll sponsor you, won't we, Rod? Yeah, of course we will. There you are. Easy. Just give me a chance to get changed, and I'll come round with a sponsorship form. Well, why don't you both come up with the kettle on? Great, great. Why can't you get me dad to change his mind? Uh, getting your dad to change his mind is like turning the Queen Mary. It can be done, but it takes about three months. Yeah, but I mean, we haven't got three months of chips next week. Look, I know, you want to go to Alton Towers. Yeah, only my dad says we can't because it's your wedding anniversary on the same day. Your dad likes his little routines. If it's our wedding anniversary, it means we've got to go to the same place and eat the same food. Even though we've been doing it for the last 19 years. Yeah, but would we have the best time at Alton Towers? Well, of course I would. It's more fun than just another plate of steak and chips. No, so does this mean that you don't want to go to that restaurant? Of course it does. But I've got to set with Dad, do I? We've been going there for years. It's very bizarre if we stop now. Right, then. 
Are these any use, or should I chuck them out? Where'd you get those from? Well, I've been tidy in the flat up, haven't I? Thought I'd make a bit of space for our Mike's edit and stuff. Soon be a mess. We've got to do what we can to help, haven't we? All right. Hiya. All right, Teddy. So, uh, how's the new motor? Brill. Don't know why I didn't do that a long time ago. Tell me, when's your mate coming back? What mate? Harry Grant. Oh, don't ask me. I've no idea. Yeah, I wish somebody had an idea. I'll have a letter off those jumped-up estate agents threatening me with legal action if I don't pay me rent. Well, why don't you go see Max for and see if you can sort it out? It's not me that wants sorting out, is it? It's that no mark next door. And I'll tell you something else to get no rent off me while he's getting away with squatting. Well, I'm out of all that now, thank goodness. No more shopkeeping for me. It's up to Mick and Alice from now on. See ya. Ta-da. You know, sometimes I think he's got the right idea. What's selling his business? We're doing all right, but you stop getting any ideas. Only joking, dear. I don't think Terry knows what he wants. Are you and Mrs. Harris going away this year? Oh, nothing planned. Unless you count my day trip to Alton Towers. Where's this? Next week. Organised trip. Coach there and back, and entry included in the price. You didn't tell me about this. I didn't think you'd want to know. I didn't think it was your scene. I wouldn't have thought it was your scene either. <laughs> Sounds OK. I've got some time off. Well, Ron Dixon's selling her tickets. Oh, sounds great. She'll be there, Ron. Well, when is it? On Wednesday. Coach leaves the British Legion at 9 o'clock. No chance. I can't ask for more leave the minute I get back to work, can I? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a day your animals are liked as well. Well, why don't you go, then? It's your day off, isn't it? I don't want to go on my own. Well, you won't be on your own, will you? You'll be with me, Nan. You and John will keep an eye on her, won't you? Oh, you Nan, that'll need looking after. I would like to go. Well... Why don't you go, then? There's no point in us both missing out on it, is there? Shall I? Yeah, just so long as you bring me back a prezzy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think I'll get a shower. I've been visiting sites all day. Yeah, and I've been soothing ruffled feathers all day. We're going to have to sort this nanny situation out. Oh, not now, darling. I've had a load of hassle at work. Hmm, and you're going to get a load of hassle at home, too. It's no good running away. Well, what, has Anna been using Margaret's coffee mug or vice versa? Worse than that. Mick told me Margaret's been looking for another job. More than that, she's got one. She's going to work at the pizza parlour when Mike Dixon goes back to college. Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, there's nothing here for her to do. She's got to find another job sooner or later. Max, Margaret's the one I want. I want somebody that we can rely on. In my book, that's Anna. She's efficient. She's reliable. Hello. No, I'm she afraid she's not taking a herself. message. I'll tell you something else. She gets on well with Thomas, too. Matter of fact, she gets on very well with Thomas. OK, I'll tell her. Thanks. Bye. All in all, I think we're very lucky to have her. If we keep her. That was the help agency. Apparently, Anna's back on their books. She's asked them to find her another permanent position. Well, you can't blame her for that, can you? I mean, she's probably feeling insecure because you've let Margaret stay on a month. Oh, whatever the reason, we could have a problem. They say they've got several interviews lined up for her. Reliable, did you say? Oh, Lord. I think we'd better get Anna on to a longer-term contract as soon as possible. Well, look, wouldn't it just be easier to let Anna go and stick to Margaret? I think it would be better as sticking with Anna. We don't want to end up without a nanny. Well, we could do at this rate, and if we do, I'll know who to blame. Oh, come on, Patricia. Well, come on, if you hadn't been so keen on sacking Margaret, we'd never have ended up in this mess. 17.30, I'm afraid. Good job and back at work next week, eh, Ron? Except <laughs> it means you can't go to Alton Towers. Diana's going, now. I mean, Nan. Have two tickets, please. Yeah, great. Right, that'll be, uh £24, please, Rod. Have a lot going? Ah, we're not doing too bad. Trouble is, I'm not, am I? Hey. Then tell him that down the Legion will be murder. Won't look good the organizer not going on his day out, will he? No, but. Can't be old, can it, eh? It's gonna look awful, but I can't let Dee Dee down on our wedding anniversary. Not after 20 years. Oh, 20 years and still going strong, eh? Ah, uh, yeah. So, that'll be me off the committee, I'm afraid. Well, see you, Ron. Yeah, bye, Mr Dixon. Yeah, till I now. Call again. Oh, wait, how long did you go on for being soppy like that? Give them a chance, Jack. They've only just got married. Hey, you and my mum are still soppy and you've been married for 20 years. I wouldn't say that. Well, about your anniversary, all is having to go to the same restaurants and eating the same things. But that's not me, is it? That's your mother, that. She'd be mortified if I let her down. Yeah, well, I thought you liked it. Me? No. I'd get out of it if I could. But, I mean, I can't risk it your mum, can I? All right, Rom. You buying or messing about? 
Milch? Äh, bye. One well, of those fellow traders got to support each other, haven't we? You know what I mean? All oh, right. So, have you had one of these letters off our so-called landlords? They're threatening me with all sorts. Well, if you're not on the books, you can't get the letters, can you? Yeah, well, I won't be on the books much longer, will I, eh? You see, if you don't pay rent, Jimmy, then I don't have to. I'm tired telling you this, Ronnie. I've got a private arrangement with Barry Grant. Oh, yeah, well, it was good enough for you, like. Well, from now on, I'm on a rent strike. You know what? Hey, if you can, I can. Find a place, will you, Jack? Well, I'll nip round the close. What is that? I'm going to tell Maxi Farner just what he can do with this letter, because they are not getting one penny rent out of me until all this is sorted out. After you, James. Oh, same again, please. It's a bit quiet in here, isn't it? Mind you, it always gets busy later on, doesn't it? Gin and tonic, please. A bit quiet in here, isn't it? Early yet. It's a bit off my usual beat, this. Uh, well, I thought I'd try a change. Yeah? Uh, I'll get that for you, eh? You're all right. Oh, no, go on there. Uh, why not? Thanks. Um, Terry. Bernie. Cheers, Bernie. As in Bernadette. Oh, I hate it. Mm. Sure for Terence, but well, nobody ever calls me that. <laughs> Thanks. Any more good pubs round here? This is where I usually come. Do you live round here, do you? Sort of. How do you mean, sort of? Thinking of moving on? Ah, me too. Itchy feet. Wales, me lobster. <laughs> I was only thinking of moving near a town. Ah, as far away as possible for me. That's my idea. Something to hide, have you? Me? Hey. Nah, of course not. Here's just things to do. Hey, uh, fancy another? Sounds good. Same again, it'd be great. Maxie in. He's upstairs. Well, can I have a word, please? It's business. Oh, well, if it's business, why don't you call his office in the morning? Because I'd like to get it sorted out now. Look at this. Looks like you've not been paying your rent. And I've no intention of paying. Not while Jimmy Corkle's getting away with murder. This is Max's business. Exactly. All right, Max! Won't be long. The sooner the better. It's about my rent. Your firm are threatening me with all sorts if I don't pay. Well, that's the way the world works, unfortunately. You rent a property and for some strange reason you pay for it. Yeah, well, tell Jimmy Corkill that. Wouldn't this be better left till tomorrow? Look, Jimmy Corkill pays, I pay. Jimmy Corkill doesn't pay, I don't pay. It's as simple as that. Jimmy doesn't have a contract with us. I won't have a contract with you either if it means I don't have to pay rent. It's only a piece of paper. You'll catch cold. You can't just cancel the contracts. Look, Corkill is lowering the whole tone of that place round there. We've seen the mess he makes on the pavement. Ron, I have no control over Jimmy. Look, I'm a good tenant, me, you know. I pay regular and I keep them premises nice. Now, I built a nice little business up there starting from nothing and those shops would be nowhere if it wasn't for me. Max is only doing his job. Well, he should do it properly then, shouldn't he, eh? Get rid of Corkill and get some decent tenants in. We are taking steps to deal with Jimmy. We'll take bigger ones then. The trouble is, he doesn't have a legal contract with us, so we can't force him to pay rent. Then chuck him out. Oh, we can't do that. We have to stay within the law. Which is more than he's doing. But I promise you, Jimmy Corkill will not be in those premises much longer. Hello. Is it Danny? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's gone round to see Max Farmer. Oh, I'll probably see him on the way back to the close, then. I just popped round to see how my sponsorship form was doing. Oh, yeah? What's it for? A minibus for your school. For <laughs> my ex-school. You're waiting for the exam results, are you? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Well, I know you'll find this difficult to believe, but Mrs Harrison is very edgy about it, too. Prestige of the school and all that, you know. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, Jackie's off juicing my mum's at work and my dad's on cigars. So you got lumbered. Well, no, not for long, and you're paying for that. All right, Jackie. Come on, 28p. And uh, what was it you said about lumbered? Hey, Mr. Harrison? 
I'm not. I'm just... Didn't you want to buy any? I just came to look at the yogurts, but you haven't got the one I wanted. Yeah, it could have been a footballer, you know, but I got this injury. Oh, <laughs> bad luck. Mm, yeah. So um, I went into all sorts after that car ballot and taxis. What, on your own? No, no, I mean, I had this partner, like, but I did most of it, like, well, the problem was, I mean, it used to get me down doing nights all the time. So, uh, what do you do now? Oh, we had a business, didn't I? Pizzas sold it. Well, you had your own business? Yeah, but I'd had enough. Let me manage have it now. I'm a singer, really. Only you don't always get the work if you're choosy. Matter of fact, I'm thinking of getting off abroad, you know, opening a little bar. Oh, sounds brill. You married? No, I was once. That was enough. I married to get away from me dad. And then my fella turned out to be even worse. <laughs> Who needs marriage, eh? <laughs> you ever tried it? Yeah, tried it. What was it, uh, another fella? No, yeah. You're probably better off without her. Yeah, and I'm better off without her, aren't I? I'm better off on my own. I mean, who needs families? Who needs friends? Look after yourself, that's the secret. Hey, you all right? Yeah, of course I am. Why shouldn't I be? Eh, uh, what are you doing tonight? Having a drink with you. No, I mean, after, after this. Uh, do you fancy coming back to my place? Yeah. Yeah, why not? You will. That's what I said, didn't I? All right, great, yeah, eh. Uh, won't be a minute. Kids. All right, cheers. Have a good time? Great, yeah. Nice one. Hey, yeah. Uh, hope none of this stuff is knockoff. Would I? Don't you give the Corkills a bad name now, do we? Hey, listen. Gonna be any little Corkills on the way now you're married? Well, give us a chance. If only just had the honeymoon. Bit of advice. First sign that they're getting broody, right, is when they want to start getting the house all ship shape. Well, how would you know? I'm a married man myself, aren't I? Hey? Battle scared. And I'll give you another bit of advice on all hobbies. What sort of hobbies? Doesn't matter what sort. So long as it gets you out of the house, when they start, they are cleaning. How do you think you see all them fellas with the fishing rods lining up on the canal bank, standing in the way? Hey, mm. tell me that. So, I take it your hobbies are what? Drinking and betting? <laughs> It'll wear off. See you, Jim. All right, see you, kid. Um, I'm here on business. Didn't want to raise it in front of your family. Oh, I... Listen, if it's about the rent, no chance. Oh, come on, Jimmy. See reason. I've told you, haven't I? I've got a personal arrangement with Barry Grant. Oh, no, you haven't. We're acting on his behalf. Look, I'm doing you a favour, really. Do you know that? Hey, keeping these premises occupied. You get all sorts of people breaking into shops when they're empty. Didn't you know that? Well, that's exactly what you've done. You've broken in. You've no business in this shop, Jimmy. You're squatting. Oh, am I? Well, prove it. There's no signs of me breaking in, is there? And I've got a key. Well, if you're not prepared to pay the rent, then you should move out. I'm not moving out. I'm making good money here. Well, if you're making good money, then... Why don't you go legit? Rent the premises, officially? Well, if I did that, I wouldn't be making good money, would I? Look, put it like this. Let's say my takings are what? 100 quid? Right. right? Cost, say, 70. All right, that leaves you 30 quid to pay the rent on these hypothetical figures. Yeah, but if I did that, where's my profit? And anyway, the rent's more than that. Well, something's got to be done, I mean... We've had complaints from the other tenants. Oh, have you? Someone in particular, I suppose. And my boss is very well aware of what's going on. I mean, my firm won't stand for this. He might be aware, but what can he do about it? Well, as you're not an official tenant, I don't have to discuss that with you. But I must warn you, steps will be taken. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I come here now, you know. I'm glad you came here too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know what, you're a lovely girl. Where's your car? Really lovely. Thanks. <laughs> Joe, I, I don't know why people want to settle down. You, you're better off keeping out of all that, aren't you? See, I'm here. What? Your car. Yeah. No, eh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lovely car. <laughs> yeah, you said. Hey, do you know what? It's been a long time since I've been with a girl. Yeah? Do you know what today is? Friday. My wedding anniversary. Me and Sue. She never got married. Oh, we all make mistakes. Yeah. Biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> well, it's no use brooding. No, no, you're right. I get no use brooding. That's why I'm selling up and moving on. 
Come on. Yeah, places to go, people to meet. I mean, lots of money to spend. I mean, what more do you want, say? Eh? Is, uh, is this your car? Yeah, this is it. My car. <laughs> I'm gonna drive away from it all. Hey, how about giving me a kiss first, eh? What? Well, that's what you came here for, isn't it? Oh, you're a lovely girl, you know that. He's <laughs> <laughs> all hey. yours. Oh! 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 I'm not an estate agent, I'm a surveyor. I mean, why does everybody all of a sudden think that it's my job to sort the shops out? It's your company, you're the man on the spot. I don't know you can say that again. And you don't know how to say no. I mean, I don't have much time for Ron Dixon, but he does have a point over this. We can do him for not paying rent, but we can't do Jimmy Corkill for the same thing. Yet he's the unofficial tenant. Can you believe that? I'll get it. Hi, I'm supposed to sit there. Yeah. The very person. Hello, Di. Come in. I've brought you this. It's from your holiday. Oh. <laughs> well, it's just a thank you for all you've done for me. You know, help me with me and um, my classes. Look, I'm going to make some phone calls upstairs, but uh, thanks very much. All right. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, we saw them being made. It's a traditional design. Yeah. I thought it looked good on the shelf at your teapots. Yeah. Thanks for the postcard as well. Nice bit of handwriting. <laughs> yeah, I had the time, you see. It all seems easy at Rob being there. It sort of gives you confidence being married, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll get it. We're still having the house to ourselves. Uh, uh, so crowds with uh, five of us. I know the feeling. What can I do for you? Oh, he's after your money. Uh, spot on there. Look, I know I've got you, but uh, I'm after your wife now. Mm, sounds promising. Oh, well, Diana's right. It'll cost you. Uh, I was hoping you might sponsor me on my walk. Either so much per mile or a lump sum. What's the charity? It's a minibus for Barbara's school. Oh, you can put me down for a fiver. Most generous. Oh, did you pick up the tickets for the trip? Yeah, one for me, one for Julia. And what trip's this? I'll go to Swanton Towers on a coach. Why don't you come too? I can get some tickets. Oh, uh, no, 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 I don't think so. Oh, it'd be great. And Thomas would enjoy it. Well, it would be one of those uh, crates of beer in the back jobs, wouldn't it? Oh, no, I don't think so. It's a family day. Peter's coming. Oh, it'd be a shame for Thomas to miss it. We could do the day out before summer's over. You mean you actually want to go? Oh, it would be great if you could. It'd do us good to let our hair down. I hope you know what you're letting us in for. For Thomas' sake, you never know. We might enjoy it as well. Well, how can I say no? Um, looks like you've sold two more tickets. Uh, can we pick them up? Yeah, I'll pick them up for you. It's all part of the service, you know. Now, about my sponsor form. Maybe be fortune, have you? How's where have you been? Ah, sorry, I was so long, love, but I called in an hour's on the way back, you know. There was our Tony sitting there waiting for his tea. Did you have company make as well? Yeah, well, you know, with your mum working late and... Well, it being on its own, I thought it's the least I can do. I thought you said it's only been gone a minute. Why has everything been all right, Jack? I'm glad everything hasn't been all right. I'm sorry I'm late. Jackie, what's happened? What do you mean, what's happened? It's not our Tony, is it? It was the shot. My dad's only left me here on my own. You shouldn't have done that. Hey, don't be blaming me. I don't know what's happened. Are you all right, love? Oh, I didn't know what to do. I saw him and he just didn't seem to care. We saw who? Hey, hang on. Have we been robbed? Look, it was only a tin of sardines. I'm sure he took them on the papers. Well, who's he? Look, hang on, hang on. Let's just get things straight, shall we? Somebody's been in here and lifted a tin of sardines. Who was that somebody and what did he say? I was standing over there putting some money in the till. He wasn't looking, but I was. Jackie, who? <sighs> Mr. Addison, God, he just lifted them off the shelf and put them in his pocket. You saw this? Dad, of course I saw it. I wouldn't be saying if I hadn't. Jackie, your dad has to be sure. 
a terrible thing accusing a neighbour. Mum, I'm not accused, nice son. Yeah, but why would he do that? I mean, a man like him, he must have the money. Well, never mind why he did it. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, you'll have to do something about it, Dad. Shoplifting, Mum. I know it's shoplifting, Dee, but... John Addison. I'm not saying he has, but well, I'd Jackie swear she saw him. Don't believe it. No, I don't want to believe it myself either, but I will have to keep an eye on him next time he's in just to make sure. Right, will you keep an eye on a place while I go and give Dee Dee a present? Oh, why? What is it? Where is he? Not in. I've told you about coming here when he's not around. Just made that, have you? Hey, what's going on? How come my water and Lecky are off and his is okay? Is it? Ron Dixon has reported me, hasn't he? Hey? I don't know. Don't give me that. You work here. You know what's going on. He's gone and bubbled me to the water and the Lecky board, hasn't he? It's got nothing to do with me. Oh, so you do know about it? I never said that. Oh, sorry. Are you open? Oh, come in. Why didn't you tell me he was plotting to have me cut off, eh? Cross me ass! I don't know anything about it. Why should it be wrong? The lecky in the water board could have just found out about your special rental agreements. Oh, yeah? Jimmy, I don't know anything. I hope you don't. <sighs> I don't know. Fellas, you've got all this to come. Yeah. So enjoy it while it lasts, eh? I just thought I'd make me and Derek some butties for the trip. Oh, Alton Towns. Forgot it was today. Have you been before? No. Oh. Went with the kids years ago. Had a great time. Well, as long as he don't try and get me on any of them rides, I'd die. Oh, don't be so chicken for grace. Listen, uh, tell Ron I had no money on me, all right? What have you been doing to yourself? Pay for this after, OK? Just tell him that. No, you know he doesn't allow credit. Teddy! <sighs> the ignorant stones. Ron will go mad. Well, I'll stay here if you want to run after him. No, it's all right, love. Ron will sort his house. Have a nice day out, eh? Wish I was going. Bye. Hey, Mick. We're not home yet, mate. Listen, you haven't seen Sinbad, have you? No, I haven't. Been looking for him myself. He's on his flat. Oh, listen, how's your lecky? <laughs> Fine, thanks, way. I just tried with him. Fine, Fine. Hey? There you go. I knew it. He's had me cut off. Ron Flaming Dixon. He's had me water and me lecky cut off. He's trying to force me out of my shop, you know. Ah, well, Jimmy, it is obvious that you're squatting in there, isn't it? Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means that you shouldn't be in that shop. You're not paying any rent, are you? Oh, I see. So it's not just Ron Dixon, then, eh? You are? 
You've all been getting your heads together, haven't you? Oh, behave yourself, Jimmy. What, are you denying it or what? Yeah, I am. All right, it's OK. I'm just asking, that's all. Look, I've got enough problems of my own without getting involved in conspiracies. Yeah, well, someone's done it, haven't they? Yeah, well, not me, Jimmy. So, check with Simbad. He's the caretaker. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I'm not bothered paying for lecky and water and that. I could have been asked first, couldn't I? And listen, if you see that Simbad, tell him I want a word with him. All right. Uh, I thought that I might have got woken up this morning with a kiss at least. Wasn't the card enough? Well, I suppose it'll do. For starting. No, no. Oh, and, uh, happy anniversary. Oh, thanks. <laughs> 20 years, eh? Seems more like five minutes. Oh, oh thanks, love. <laughs> hey. Do you remember what you got me for my first uh, wedding anniversary? Hey, do I? A dozen roses, you remember, hey? And I had to bump Siggy's for the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh! What is it? <gasps> oh! Oh, right, it's lovely! Yeah, well, it's... Well, a bit of an apology for me kicking off these last few months. So, is you all set for the rest of them tonight? Oh, I forgot to do it yesterday. It will dry in time. Cos it would have to be to daylight, wouldn't it? You know, the Legion trip to Alton Towers, I mean. A week on the committee and then drummed off for missing what I organised. Ron, if you want to cancel it, I mean, we always go Saturday. Dee, I wouldn't want to let you down, love. We always go to the Riverview on our anniversary. I mean, if you want to go on the Legion trip, I mean, Loads I can be doing here. It's our anniversary, Dee. Uh, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Mum. Uh, oh, and Dad. Here you go. It's for both of you. Thanks. What is it? T tickets for the Legion trip. Have you paid for this? Of course we have. Oh, look, I'm sorry we can't go. Dad booked us a table at the Riverview. We wouldn't be back in time. Eh, uh, it's all right. We cancelled it. You what? Come on, you always go there every year. Yeah, yeah but that's because your mother likes it. You're both here, Sammy, every year, that you both ate it, so. Would you rather go on the day off? I've been going off the river view for years. Well, I thought you liked it. But I thought you liked Dear, it. I can't stand the place. I thought I'd be on prawn cocktail and black forest gato until it was our golden. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alton Towers, here we come then. Come on, you two, go and get ready. Right. Oh, uh, Ron. Do you reckon Jackie? Oh, we'll be all right on our own. I'm thinking about John Harrison. Yeah, well, he's coming as well, isn't he? Yeah, I've warned her. Yeah. Have you mentioned it to him? Well, I don't know, love. I mean, what'd you say? Hey, John, was that you where Jackie saw shoplift from the other day? Should I carve this before I pack it? Uh, no, it'll only dry up. We'll do it as we eat it. What are you doing? You know the Alton Towers? It was the largest family home in Europe. Well, you learn something new every day. Don't forget to pack a knife, by the way. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a fun part since the Victorian times. Well, really? Isn't your daddy a mine of useless information? He'll enjoy every minute of it, won't you, Thomas? Yeah. Can I pack some sandwiches? Sandwiches? Yeah, for me and Derek, we're going on a day out. Mm, so are we. Anywhere special? Alton Towers. So are we. You didn't say. Oh, I didn't think you'd be going. Is Thomas going? Yeah. Well, if you two wanted any time to yourselves, you know, me, me and Derek wouldn't mind looking after him, you know, take him on all the rides and stuff. Yeah. Something wrong? No, no, it's also kind of you to offer, but... You see, I decided, well, we decided to invite Anna along. Give her the chance to get to know Thomas properly. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now, young Master Thomas... All right, Sam. Yeah, hiya. I'm just finishing off my sandwiches, then I'll get out your way. I'm really looking forward to this, you know. Me being driven down the M6 in comfort. Listen, Sam. It seems a shame to waste our Katie's ticket. You know, now she's decided to go to her mum's. Why don't you come with me? Oh, no, it's all right. You go. Oh, come on, I'd like you to go. I don't fancy going on my own. It's going to be all families and couples and that. To a forfeit. What's it matter what it is? At least it's a few hours away from here. What do you say? 
Come on, Sam. Hey, it'll do you the world of good. Hello, Lynn. Didn't expect to see you again. Come in. I'm sorry for calling around so early. I was just going to do a bit of shopping in town. It's fine. Hello, Sammy. Hey. I've been meaning to drop this off for days. It's just a bit of a thank you for all you did over our Nick. Ah, oh, uh, you shouldn't have bothered. No, I really appreciate what you did. Oh, thanks. And why don't you give our Casey's ticket to Lynn? I want you to come, Sam. Yeah, but you'd enjoy it more than me, you know. What's this? I'm going on a trip to Alton Towers today with the British Legion. I've got a spare ticket and she won't come with me. Well, take Lynn. I'll tell you what, why don't we all go? I can easily see you on and get another ticket. Can you come, Lynn? Oh, I'm on afternoons at the surgery. Oh, couldn't you phone in and do a sickie? I mean, do doctors' receptionists do sickies? <laughs> no, they don't. But they can swap shifts. I'll have to phone my mum and get her to do the kids' teas. Oh, we'll do it then. I'd love you to come. Come on, Sam, let's make a day of it. Oh, it would make a change. It's only a few hours. OK. Oh, great. I'll go and get another ticket then. Lynn, help yourself to the phone. We won't tell if she does a sickie, will we? <laughs> What's it like, this Alton Towers? Have you been? Um, at school, yeah, it was good. What have you got to be so frightened of, then? I'm not. Then there's no excuse not to go and have a nice day out, is there? Especially after all you've been through. God, if my kids knew I was off to Alton Towers... Um, i better go and get dressed. Right, Mick, where are they then? Leo, Gemma? Oh, Sin, they're not here, mate. Oh, come on, Mick. I told you to get them ready. The coach goes in half an hour. Look, I'm sorry, Sin. They won't be going. They're not too well. Oh, it's nothing serious, is it? No, it's just some sort of summer cold. Bit of a chill or something, you know. And the both of them got it? Yeah. I've had to leave them at Auntie Lou's. In fact, I'm just setting up here, then I'm leaving it to Ellis and Matty to get on with it, you know. Well, if it's only a summer chill, they can still go, can't they? Sin, I know them, mate. They'll be dead miserable. And you can't bring them all the way back from there if they get fed up, can you? Uh... I was looking forward to this. I don't want to go now. Oh, don't be soft. Nah, I've made butties and everything special. I'm going to be on me sod. You're one. You'll enjoy yourself. Nah, see ya. Hey, uh, Jimmy Corker was asking for you, you know. All right. Yeah, something about his uh, lecky and water supply. Is he going on this trip? What, this Ron Dixon thing? I doubt it. Well, uh, if I'm going to catch that coach, I better hurry up, hadn't I? You just have to tell him you haven't seen me. <laughs> All right. Hey, Hi. any pizzas on? What, this time of the morning? What happened to your face? Oh, uh, I had this little accident. I was in Aussie overnight. And when was this? The other day. So, uh, any pizzas going or what? Not too early. Anyway, you don't want pizzas for Brecky, do you? Oh, I'll do us a favour then. Mick Cash is a check. I'll get something from Ron Dickos. I'm starving. You're joking, aren't you? I've got a fiver float. Apart from that, I'm skint. Yeah, well, I might have lost a ten grand motor, but it doesn't mean I haven't got plenty in the bank. That new car, you lost it. Where is he? Ah, uh, it was robbed outside the boozer. Oh, you're joking, are you? Let's go on, lens a few quid, then. I told you, says I'm skint. I haven't got a cent. So, uh, how much would he get back in the insurance, then? I wasn't insured. What? Yeah, well, I forgot, didn't I? I mean, I went out and had a few bevies. Oh, look, me and Ellis, we gave you 15 grand cash. How come you suddenly need money? I've still got plenty in the bank. I just want a few quid so I can get some scran in. Oh, I'm sorry, Tess. And grand down the drain just like that. He's heading for trouble. Cheers, Ron. Hey, the more the merrier, mate. I want this to be a good do. Chair of the Legion Committee on the stand of this, eh? Never know your luck, do you, eh? See you on the coach, mate. Thank you, Ralph. See you. See you, love. Listen, everyone else pays on the nail. What's so special about Terry Sullivan? If he comes in here, I want that 35 pence. <laughs> I'll try. Flash cars drinking all the time. Must be flaming well minted. Right, you got me for exactly another 15 minutes. Anything I can do before I go? Oh, uh, the flowers need putting out. And I need a few boxes of stock down from upstairs. I'll be too knackered to celebrate any anniversary at this rate. Oh, aye, aye. How are you planning on celebrating it? Ah, oh, down to once a year at your age, is it? Hey, come here. I want a word with you. Er, uh, you talking to me, big cop? No, I'm talking to him. But it includes you and all. What do you know about my Alecky and water? 
Who, me? Yes, you. I get in there this morning and I find I've no water and no power. How am I supposed to run a business like that, eh? You've been cut off. Yes, I have been cut off. But who was it who bubbled me, though, eh? I mm. should have told you, Ram. I knew he'd have a go at you. Do me a favour, Jackie, will you? Cut out the play acting. I told you it had nothing to do with Ron. Oh, yeah. Well, how come it was all right at 8 o'clock last night, eh? I was in there with water, power, everything. And I've got in anyway. Hmm? No one's broken in, have they? It was me. I'm sorry, Jimmy, I had to. A fella from Fletcher's came around. It was all official. I mean, they are the estate agents. I had to stand there while the workies cut off the water and the power. Oh, did you? Well, you can just get in there and put it back on again, can't you? Come on. I can't. Yeah, well, you're the caretaker, aren't you? Get in there and do it. Ah, 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 ah. He's not your caretaker, because you are a squatter. And you can keep out of it and all. You've caused enough trouble as it is. Who, oh, me? Yes, you. Go on, get in there. I mean, I can't. He's told me I'll be in trouble even if I try to reconnect. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Hey? I don't care what stunts you pull, Dixon. I don't care how hard you try to put me out of business. I am here to stay. So just get that into your head. All right. Can't say fairer than that. I'm not interested. Well, I'll throw in three butties as well, then. But I've got no money on me, have I? Oh, well, I'll wait for the money. There's no problem. Just forget it, will you? Oh, come with us, then. Simbad. Oh, Terry, look. Free tickets and free butties. Come on, you could do with a good day out. Do me a favour, eh? Marcia. Marcia. Don't run away, please. Look, I'm sorry, I've got nothing to say. You can't just leave it like this. Look, you're just gonna have to accept it, it's over. I'm going away. When? Tomorrow, maybe, I'm not sure. Where to? I'm not sure. I don't want you to go. Not without talking about it first. Look, I'm sorry. Mars. Look. I've got some tickets for a trip to Alton Towers. And the coach leaves the Legion at half past. Could we have just one more day together? Is that too much to ask? After all them months and everything we've been through. I'm sorry, no. I'll see you around sometime. Oh, come on, no. I'm only talking about a bottle of milk. Cash is a cheque and you can take your 35 pence. I don't cash cheques for anyone. Never mind, people who owe me. Well, it's not going to bounce if that's what you're worried about. Sorry. Look, we're only talking share buttons here. I mean, I only want 20 quid. Hey, might be share buttons to you, sunshine, but not me. Now, your business might have gone, but it's not going to happen to mine. Try the bank. Well, that means I have to get a cab all the way down there, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll try walking then. Anyway, what about the flash car you got last week? Yeah, well, that's gone, hasn't it? It's finished. I mean, how do you think I got this lot? Oh, you crashed it. Is that what happened to your face? Are you going to cash this cheque or what? I've told you, no. Jackie, he gets nothing else in here till he's paid for that milk. All right. Right. You all set for the trip, John? Uh, can I help you, John? Sorry, uh, I just wanted some batteries like this. Ah, oh, sorry, mate, you've run out. I'll have some more for tomorrow, though. I'll need them for today. Well, breaks my heart to say it, but, well, I'm sure you'll be able to get some when we get there. I don't know. I need them now. I fancy taking some snaps on the way, you see. Breaks my heart to say it, but you probably get them next door. Uh, excuse me, do you mind? Right, I'll leave it to your conscience, mate, but that shop is illegal. I think I can live with that. See you. Charlo. Hey, next time your fellow accuses me of trying to put him out of business, just remind him of that, buddy, eh? Right, stock room. You better get a move on. You don't want to miss your own coach. There, yeah, that's better, isn't it? Hey, John. Perhaps I should change the name to Aladdin's Cave, eh? <laughs> Listen, do you need a bit of light over there? Oh, i better get back to the coach. It's gonna leave soon. Uh, that's, uh, 275, isn't it? Uh, a fiver with them tapes. Uh, sorry? You've got a packet of cassettes in your pockets. Oh, I think you're mistaken. Hey, come on, I'm not soft. A fiver, come on. Look, I've got a packet of batteries. 275. You're not getting away with this, you know, pal. 
Come on, let's see what's in that pocket. Look, don't be ridiculous. You're mistaken. You can hardly see a thing in here anyway. Oh, yeah. So that's why you thought you'd have a go, is it? Hey, come on, turn out that pocket. Look, don't be ridiculous. Listen, either pay up or give us them back. Certainly not. Hey, come here, will you, mate? Hey, look, just leave me alone, will you? Look, just turn out your pockets, will you? Hey! This is ridiculous. Just keep away from me, will you? Look, if you haven't done it, what have you got to hide, hmm? Just let me prove me point. Let go of me. If you touch me again, I'll do you for assault. Hey, what? Hey, 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 what's going on? He's nicked a packet of cassettes and he won't let me search him. I know he's got them. I'm not blind and I'm not stupid. The man is mad. Why on earth would I want to steal anything like that? I mean, for God's sake, Ron, look at me. Do I look like a thief? Let's give him the benefits of the doubt, eh? He's flaming nicked them. I saw him. I've no time to waste arguing here. Please, it's illegal anyway. What the hell's that got to do with it? Turn out your pockets and prove it. You've no power to do that. It's common assault. Right, come on, oh, you three. After the coach, come on, catch him. Now, you pocket it. Do it voluntary. Yeah, oh, no. Jackie, go on. I won't. Go. This is ridiculous. And you're mistaken. John, is he right or what? No, of course he's not. Is it worthwhile falling out over a packet of cassettes, Jimmy? If he doesn't empty his pockets, he's bad for my shop. John. Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't want to go in there anyway. A flaming sword. Are you sure? You've got no lights in there. Oh, you, taking his side again, eh? Look, he won't set foot in your place again, all right? Just let it go, eh? All right. Are you sure this isn't some other stunt of yours, eh? To damage me? Oh, don't be so soft. Look, I have to get off. Jimmy, can you just give him the benefit of the doubt? Hi, love, all set. Oh, hiya. Oh, better introduce a friend of mine. Lynn, this is Dee Dixon, lives just across from us. Hello. Hiya. Where's Ron? He's uh, just caught Mr. Harris. Tony, uh, just go just get on the coach, will you? Uh, he's helping out the shop for a minute. Can't do without Ali today. Eh? <laughs> oh, hiya, Sammy. Where's the baby? She's at her grandma's. You're having a day off, aren't you, Sammy? Good for you. Make the most of it while you can. Better get a seat, eh? See you later. See ya. Hey, Jimmy Corker, she's got the police onto him, so shouldn't be dad's and I'll do be soft. You've got to be sure, you know, Jackie. Well, I am sure he robbed them sardines from us. Shh, not here. Yeah, well, he did, my son. Jackie, get on the coach. Just forget it for now, will you? You and Derek could sit here. Oh, wait, it's okay. I think he's saved me a seat up the back. Thanks anyway. Look, Tom, snug. She's gone. She's gone. Oh, Sitting at the back. God, look who's coming. Right, testing. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me in the back? Right. Hey, listen, don't worry, don't worry. It's not Friday night in the club. This is your captain speaking. Hey, listen, everybody ready for the day out? Hey, the annual day out for the Manor Park British Legion. Now, listen, I'm Ron Dixon, your organiser, so if you want to know anything, don't ask me. <laughs> well, I thought this was John Harrison's trip, school funds or something. Yeah, so did I. Let's get off this thing. No, yeah, why should we? Pay the tickets. You know, I don't be like stupid comment snide remarks all day long. The place is massive where we're going to. Please, they're leaving behind. <coughs> don't be Thomas. Right then, if we're all ready, we'll get going. Wagons! Oh, hang on a minute, we've got a straggler here. Room for one more little one up there, you lot. Come on, love, up you come. Where's your ticket? Sinbad's got it. Right. Well, now we're all on, we can get going. Off we go. You changed your mind then, great. Yeah. yeah but you're here on the coach now, aren't you? Look, I feel terrible about this, but I'm broke. It's a good way of getting to the Midlands. You mean you... I'm not going on the day out. It's just the first part of leaving. Sorry. I'm going away for good. 